Hey everybody, my name is Leland with Friends of Salons and welcome back to the final episode of the FOSJ Video Shorts. Tips and tricks for backcountry travel in the San Juan Mountains. Today, we're joined by Aaron Lane, lead guide with San Juan Expeditions as well as a member of the San Juan County Search and Rescue Team. Aaron's joining us today and is going to talk a little bit about the things that we do when transitioning into springtime skiing versus skiing during the winter months. Thanks Leland! When I think about spring skiing, I think about a few things. I'm going to think about my timing, I think about my preparation, I'm also going to think about the tools that I use in the backcountry. When it comes to timing, I may want to start my day a little bit earlier, depending on what kind of freeze that we saw overnight. As the temperatures start to go above freezing with more regularity, above freezing being zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we see the development of new avalanche problems, uh, namely loose wet or wet slab avalanche problems. We'll talk a little bit more about how to recognize when those are developing in your area. And then when I'm packing for my trip, I'm gonna consider bringing different tools, potentially to add more security when moving into larger terrain than I've been in throughout the winter months. Some of these tools might include a ice axe, ski crampons, or boot crampons. I'm going to use these tools to add security while on my tour. In the springtime, the surface of the snow can be quite a bit more slippery and icy than we might see in the winter months, as well as I might work into terrain where I need a little bit more protection from falling. So these are things that I'm going to use to attach myself more securely to the mountain so I avoid falling off of it. We just finished skiing this awesome line up in the Alpine. A lot of things came together to make it possible. When it comes to springtime wet snow avalanche problems, a lot of the observations that I can make and the clues that this problem is developing are all things that I can do while I'm moving. First off, I'm really just going to watch the surface of the snow. The surface we have here right now is a melt freeze crust that's breaking down. So I can see there's no water moving in the surface of the snow and it's staying quite cold. As it gets warmer, I might even be able to squeeze drops of water out of this snowball. Another thing I can do is just pay attention to how far my skis or my boots are sinking into the snow as I'm moving throughout the terrain. As that increases, I'm noticing that the snowpack is losing cohesion and I could be seeing increased instabilities and it's time for me to back out of avalanche terrain and start thinking about heading back to the car. Well, that was a pretty awesome day. We got to get up high and ski a cool line with a pretty great team. Thanks for coming along, Aaron for talking a little bit about Spring Skiing 101. And most importantly, thank you to all of you for tuning in to the final episode of the FOSJ Video Shorts. We'll see you next time.